Red Dead Redemption 1, originally released in 2010 and running on the Rage engine, has finally made its way to PC after over a decade of anticipation. The minimum system requirements might look intimidating, especially for those of us with lower spec systems. But don't worry, I have some effective tweaks to help you squeeze the most performance out of your setup. So let's jump right in. First, I'll be testing the game on my integrated graphics. In the video settings, I've set the resolution to 1080p, capped the frame rate at 144 FPS, turned off V-Sync, and disabled triple buffering, and all graphics settings are at their lowest preset. Note that anisotropic filtering can't go below X4, and under anti-aliasing upscaling method, I've selected AMD FSR3 with the super resolution set to ultra performance, and everything else is set to its lowest preset. Make sure to mirror these settings to get the best possible performance boost. With these settings, let's check out the in-game performance. Well, the game is still quite playable, and I'm currently getting very enjoyable frame rates. I'm really impressed with Rockstar Games for their solid optimization on the PC version of Red Dead Redemption 1. However, if your game is stuttering, or you're experiencing low FPS, stick around until the end of this video. I have plenty of tips to share, so now let's quit the game and look at what else we can do to improve its performance. Now, if you're using the cracked version of the game, the configuration file can be found in your hidden app data folder. Don't worry. If you're on the Steam version, I've provided the config file location in the video description inside the app data folder. Go to roaming.1911 folder, Red Dead Redemption, title, and now open the graphicsoptions.xml file with notepad. Let's start by adjusting the screen resolution. Thankfully, the game allows for custom resolutions, so I'm going with an extremely low value, like 450 by 250. We've already turned off motion blur from the in-game settings, but be sure to also disable motion blur strength from here as well. Make sure to disable terrain streaming factor. For convenience, I've provided a download link to this configuration file in the video description, so make sure to check it out. And you can also disable anisotropic filtering from here, which we can't from the game settings. And that's it. There's nothing more we can do right now. So now, save the file and make sure to set the file attributes to read only. And now, let's check the results. You can clearly see that FPS has nearly doubled, and the game runs much smoother now. Well, if you find the visuals too blurry, consider turning off the upscaling method such as AMD FSR3 for a sharper look. This is how my game looks and runs with no anti-aliasing or upscaling methods, so try different combinations to find the best setup for you. To fix any stuttering, disable the autosave feature from the game settings. This should eliminate most stuttering issues. Well, so guys, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with friends who have lower spec setups so they too can enjoy Red Dead Redemption 1 as well. And I'll see you all again in the next video. So, until then, take care and happy gaming.